Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We are still tracking a few leftover showers this morning. Most of them are beginning to fizzle out a little bit in northeast Louisiana. A little bit more activity ongoing in parts of South Arkansas. So you may want to keep the umbrella handy, but you definitely will not be needing it by this afternoon as we got dry air that will continue to sink in and the skies will be clearing out as well. But we are still dealing with some gusty winds. Here's a look at Storm Tracker Doppler radar and you see just some leftover patch activity in Louisiana, a little bit more ongoing up towards Pine Bluff and parts of Arkansas. Here's a live look at the Tower Place Tower Camera in Monroe where you you can kind of see the camera shaking just a little bit, and that's due to these gusty winds. Temperatures have been holding out in the mid to upper 50s. We're at 57 degrees at the Monroe Airport. Dew points mid 50s, and winds are sustained at 19 miles per hour out of the west and northwest. Here's a look at the side, uh, radar loop, and you can see most of it's kind of following that low pressure pattern because we got it currently just up to the northeast. Now we got high pressure starting to push in across the Great Plains. Now, of course, the low pressure center itself is moving rather slow, and that's the reason why we got some of this leftover showers in parts of Arkansas, but because it's moving slow, the high pressure and the low pressure moving too close together, it's going to create some pressure gradient winds across our area, and that's the reason why these winds are gusty this morning and will be for this afternoon. And we've also picked up a lot of rainfall just within the past three days alone. A lot of locations, three day totals are pushing seven and eight inches. So these wind gusts, it really will not take that much to knock over a tree or a limb, which could potentially maybe land on a power line and knock out power. So a little heads up for that for today. Temperatures are still mid 50s, uh, lower 50s rather to northwest. And you can also see where these dew points are also falling off lower 50s and pushing into the 40s back off to the west from Shreveport, Texarkana. That's that dry air beginning to sink in. But these winds, they're currently sustained between 15 to 20 miles per hour. And some gusts are pushing in that 25 near 30 range. Already got wind gusts at 32 up around Greenville. And we'll be seeing some gusts get around 35 to almost near 40. Thus, there's that hazard for those potential for trees to fall with the soggy ground. Wind advisory will be in effect till at least 7 o'clock later on this evening, expecting these winds to start dying down as we go into the overnight hours. Forecast of highs will be in the mid-70s and lower 70s further up to the north. Not going to be the best day to do any type of yard work outdoors because the ground is still going to be wet and soggy. But once we go into tomorrow and through Saturday, we're going to continue with the sunshine and the winds will be calming down and temperatures, they're just going to get a lot warmer for the weekend and throughout much of next week. So moving forward, High pressure will move in, pushing in all that clouds and rain on out of here. The winds will start shifting out of the south going into tomorrow, and we'll start to watch those temperatures gradually warm up, and we'll see lots of sunshine throughout much of this weekend. Then you have about 75 degrees for this afternoon. Winds gusty out of the northwest. Tonight will start dropping down to the mid 40s, so it's going to be on the cooler side, but the good news is at least the winds will start dying down. Tomorrow will be in the mid 70s. It's going to be overall pleasant, but we will be pushing those 80s by at least Saturday through Sunday as clouds will start to sneak back in going into next Monday. And we'll have a new system start to arrive later on next week, which will bring the back the chances of a few patchy showers and thunderstorms. And we could probably still see some more chance for rain and thunderstorms by late next week.